Welcome back to another episode of Quarterback Kings Talk. I'm your host, Reed, and today we are reviewing the Kings 4 1 win over the St. Louis Blues. As you remember, last time I reviewed them, I wore a different jersey. I wore a Vladimir Tarasenko jersey, and I don't have to anymore to for this one. A, it's Halloween, and it's not Halloween, and B, they won, so it's all good. That, that was just a one-time thing. So they have a, St. Louis has a top line of James Schwartz, Brady, Braden Shen, and Vladdy Tarasenko. And that's like one of the best lines in the whole entire NHL in terms of points and goals and assists, the, the basics. So it's Battle of the Backups. Let's hop into this game and where the Kings did right. First period, right off the bat, I believe... Uh, it was the shoreline of shore between the two 70s of Toffoli and Pearson. So they uh, they got on the ice after a Kopitar line that did all right, just a little dumping. Uh, they Tanner Pearson creates the moving puck. He passes off Toffoli. He comes in on an angle going like this way and then he at the last second flips to the forehand to beat the backup St. Louis backup Carter Hutt and we have a one nothing lead wake up and smell the toffee toffee had scored so not that long like roughly halfway into the first period the top line of Alex Align, Copa Star and downtown Dustin Brown are on Kopitar passes over to Ayafalo, who zings a one-timer that's not in past Carter Hutton, but the rebound was so juicy, the Copa star put it in. And that was Kopitar's 13th goal of the year, which he obviously, that's better than last year's total season total because of a god-awful year last year. Um, so... I like that the top line was just going to the net. We never, under the last coach, we would never do that. We would just go cycle, cycle, maybe point shot, maybe a little dangle in front. I like that we're getting traffic to the net and this looks something else. So nothing happens after a few posts and crossbars. So second period, Kings are getting into penalty trouble against St. Louis. And luckily they were in two, so it was, I believe, still 5-1-5 five five at this point. But Colton Prank with St. Louis Blues takes a big clapper slap shot. And he puts it, and Patrick Berwin, like, perfectly, like, redirects it past Darcy Kemper, who was starting the net for the Kings. They have cut it in half, 2-1. Not that long after, roughly two minutes out of... Um, two minutes remaining in the second period. Adrian Kempe literally snipes top shelf like here or here off of in for Carter Hutton. And he kind of used the defense, the defender as a screen. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. So that was 3 1. And that's a Kempe. And we go in the third, post and crossbars and penalties are are taken and nothing happens until Tyler Toffoli has scored again. That makes him tie with Copa Star right now with 13 goals a year. That's what we stand today. And we get to, re to be thankful for a Kings 4-1 win. Thoughts on the game? Like I said earlier, I love the traffic that we're getting into the front of the net when shooting the puck. I do not like that we're too penalty happy. I'm glad we got the first goal of the game after the Anaheim game, the Detroit game, the DC game, and I believe the Phoenix game back in November, right after Thanksgiving. And it's just good to know your team is out with a 
has a lead for your goaltender. And Darcy Kemper played great. And he stopped 39 of 40 shots because of the burgling goal. It was pretty good. So, St. Louis fans, if I were you, I would still be happy you still won the better teams in the NHL. You should be a little worried for, for Winnipeg because they are stacked and good. They can go, wee, But if we don't play you guys for another while, and, and that will be here, actually, in Los Angeles. So who knows what will happen. So next game is in Chicago. Yes, a good old playoff rivalry meets Matt, uh, sets up the United Center. I believe Chicago was underperforming, but if you look at some of their bum six guys, they're they're meh. So you still have your your Taze and Kane and Seabrook, and your Keith and your that's it. And your and they reacquired Brandon Saw. They got this new Debrincat kid. They have all these new cast of characters. They still have an Easty Moff. So don't. And I believe Quick is supposed to be in net for that game. Don't, don't take this, don't joke at the Chicago Blackhawks because they'll do things to you that you don't want to do. And that's coming from playoff experience that I've seen on TV. Thank you for watching. Click like if you like this video, wherever it is. Click if you want to see more, if you like this video. Click subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Click the little bell button around here. That's where you stay up to date on one of my videos. Uh, share it with anyone, spread the word, share it with all your friends, and we're officially in first place. I forgot to say that about the last video, but depending on the Vegas score yesterday, um, we might be in sole possession of first place. I will see you in another episode. Goodbye.